Well, hey, good evening to you. I'm out here doing a little squirrel hunting and uh, man, the thunder is rolling and, and I was down here at my range just doing a little filming and uh, kind of had a little quiet time after I was done and I was packing up and, and something just weighed on me that, that I really just feel like it's important to address. And that's really the problem with the church being the church. Uh, let's just, I just want to take a moment. I'm sure you'd be like, oh, here comes Mark again. But here's what was weighing heavy is I was filming a video even earlier this morning, just sitting right over there, um, doing the fire by the fire, filming through Acts. And I think that's because I went through that, that it weighed heavy on my heart as I was standing here in the same place many hours later, listening to the thunder rolling. But, you know, if we look at what the church is and we look at like the church of acts you know for example what it's supposed to be um they were apprehended by religious figures you know when they went to jail it was because religious people threw them in jail when people sought to kill them it was because the religious people sought to kill them and I just don't think anybody really understands what a time of tribulation will look like because Jesus Christ himself said that even the elect will be deceived, meaning even the elect will bow down to the Antichrist, the elect, but they'll call themselves Christians. You see, that's the difference. And you say, well, you know, because I've mentioned, and they'll be pointing us out, you know, those of us who are, you know, no, that is not like... God did not send that guy for your salvation. <laughs> like, that's not what that is. You're looking at something totally different. Uh, Jesus is our Lord. And, and people will not be okay with that. And you think to yourself, well, how, what do you mean they won't be okay with that? Think about it for a second. You know, the, the religious people, those people who studied, they studied the word of God. They knew it. They had it memorized. They would write it in little tiny letters and stick it in a box and put it on their foreheads. And, and they knew it. They knew it by heart. And they knew the prophecies. And they knew what the, the prophets had told them would be coming. And they stared at it like they can look at Jesus. And they can hear him talk. And they can watch his miracles. And they can even reach out and touch him. Maybe even receive a miracle. And they still totally missed it. And they sought to kill him. Then they sought to kill the disciples. Why? Because they would go into the temple and they would contradict using the word of God with what they were teaching in those same synagogues, using the word of God. And it made them angry. And today, if you were to do something like that, they would accuse you of division. You're causing division and now you're out of this church. But believe me, it's gonna get a lot worse. You know, and I've said it many times, the church is not being the church. They're playing church. They're, they went to the bank. They, they took out a loan. They bought a building. And now they, they click on the lights, cameras, it's a smoke machines, guitars, Sunday show. And they pay their loans that way. And they pay themselves that way. And ideally, they can bring in a ton of money that way is ultimately the goal. The, the more people you can put in the seats, the better. Not all churches, but that is the design. To be the church is a very different thing. And, and I've said this many times, if you live in a town of five, 10,000 people, there's maybe five, 10 that get it. Like you can sit at a church of 500 and you can be like, well, how come these people don't get it? Like, what is it? How can they not see what is happening around them? How can they not see this? It's almost like they're in a fog. And if you say, well, hey, we got to be the church. The Bible says this thing and we're not doing that thing. Well, now you're, you're causing division. But don't be fooled. A political figure will eventually cause the church to do this complete worship of this individual uh, because false prophets will tell them to. And the, when this plays out, they're going to know the word of God and they're going to be quoting the word of God and they're going to be saying the word of God and they're going to even open up the word of God on Sundays and preaching the word of God. But they're totally going to miss it. They're totally going to miss it. Uh, more so than those guys back then did. They're just going to miss it. And, and, and as a result, just like they did with Jesus, just like they did with all the disciples, 
And just like they did with all of their disciples, they're going to seek to kill him. They're going to seek to kill him. Um, almost every word you read in the book of Acts is somebody's seeking to kill them. Constantly. Constantly. Somebody's throwing them in jail or seeking to kill them. That's what being the church looks like. That's what it looks like. So what is it we're doing wrong? Number one, that it doesn't look like that. You know, that's why I recommend you go through the book of Acts verse by verse, which is, you know, what we're doing. I'll put the link below. Uh, join us through that. Goodness gracious, I've already learned so much. But it's important that you do that thing. You know, I remember one time I was going through the book of Acts with a group of men from a church every Wednesday night in one of their basements. And it was about like six, seven months in. I just thought, like, we're not doing anything. We're not doing any acts. Like, like we're just sitting in a basement talking about it. And I realized even in that moment that that's really what we're doing as a church too, is we're just sitting in a building, just talking about being the church, but we're not actually being the church. And I believe just like uh, Peter said in Second Peter, or I apologize, Second Timothy, uh, what Timothy said is that there's it's a form of godliness, but they're denying its power. And that's what he said the last days will be like and second timothy three is that you know that it's got like it looks godly but they're denying its power where is the power where are the miracles where's all that stuff at um where's it at because the disciples saw it constantly every day they were witnessing that sort of thing constantly people would just reach out and touch them and arms would grow that weren't there the blind would see the lame would walk the dead would rise like, where is all that at? It is a form of godliness, but they are denying its power. And that's the result. Um, it's something that we just have to kind of open our eyes to the, you know, this is what they'll do. They will ultimately bow down to the Antichrist. And I know many of you will sit there and go, I would never do that. You won't ever catch me doing that stuff. I'm sure they said the same thing. They said the same thing. You know, that high priest, you know, the high priest of the temple, the man, the man, the religious figure, you know, he ripped his shirt and yelled blasphemy and they started punching and beating Jesus. And they knew, what, you know, they, <laughs> you know, and then, and then uh, Peter and the disciples, they get thrown in jail and they drag him, you know, but they, they, they escape through the Holy Spirit and they go straight back into the synagogues to preach and they grab them and they seek to kill them. It's what the Word of God said is they immediately sought to kill them. And, and then the very next verse is that uh, one of the priests steps up and he was a well-respected knower of the law. Like these are people who know the law. They know the Word of God and they were killing the disciples one by one by one right after they killed Jesus. Don't think that the elect are gonna be cool in the end. They're not. It's gonna be terrible. You, there's the remnant, but the church you can't trust. They're gonna be turning Christian. Well, they'll call us something different. They'll call themselves Christians. We'll be called something else. I actually prefer the name remnant um, because that's really what it is. There's always this remnant, this small group of individuals who are standing up for the things of Jesus Christ. So there you go. Any thoughts or insight on that? Definitely put that below. I'm going to get out of this rain. It's getting dark and daunting looking, and I'm holding a, a lightning rod on my shoulder here. So uh, um, continue to join us. Any thoughts or insight? Definitely put it below.